Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 6. My name is Franny and today I'm going to share with you all the 2020 new releases that I didn't get to this year. As I've been saying since the beginning of Vlogmas, I haven't really read that much this year. We all know the reason why, because I've said it more than once. I don't want to think about that again, at least for like a few seconds in my life. But I haven't read as much as I would have wanted to this year. Therefore, there are many, so many 2020 new releases that I didn't get to and that I would have wanted to read. So I tried to choose just a few of them. And also I tried to pick different genres so that you guys could have a little bit of everything in this list. I wrote them down following the order Order in which they were released. So the first one that I have is Stepping Stones by Lucy Nicely. Lucy Nicely publishes graphic memoirs. This year I've read Relish by her and I absolutely adored it. I thought it was absolutely wonderful and cute and so nice to read and flip through. That made me want to read all the other books that she's published. And this year she came up with this new graphic memoir that is mostly focused on her childhood and the relationship that she had with her stepsister. If you hear something in the background, it's my dog Charlie that is now playing again with a tissue because apparently he loves to destroy tissues and make confetti out of them. So this is the first book in a series I think because I saw that there is like a sequel coming out next year that still talks about her childhood and the relationship with her sister. So I need to read Stepping Stones so that I can read the graphic memoir sequel when it comes out. Next is The Henna Wars by Adiba Jaijirdar. This is a sapphic love story. It is a YA about a Bengali girl who falls in love with another girl. However, this girl starts a henna business, which I think the main protagonist has as well. And it constitutes its cultural appropriation. So I think we have a rivalry to lovers kind of situation. It's supposed to be really cute and really sweet. And I really, really wanted to read this book this year. It's unforgivable that I didn't get to it this year. I'm so upset. Then there's Pizza Girl by Jean Kyung Frazier. This is about an 18 year old black girl who is pregnant and who works as a pizza delivery girl. And this girl strikes an unlikely friendship with a woman that she regularly delivers a pizza to and this woman is a stay-at-home mom so I'm guessing they're going to probably bond over motherhood but there are also supposed to be LGBT themes in this book and it's pretty short and I've heard good things about it so hopefully this is going to be a priority for 2021. Next is What We Don't Talk About by Charlotte Christie. This is a graphic novel about an interracial couple where the girl is black and the guy is white and she has to go meet his family for the first time and the dinner is very uncomfortable but the guy is kind of unaware of how uncomfortable it is for his partner. So I'm guessing this graphic novel is going to deal with the issues that can arise when you have an interracial couple. Being in an interracial relationship myself, I'm very interested in seeing what kind of problems arise in this graphic novel and how the two characters face them and hopefully overcome them with a positive ending, a very happy ending. Then I have a fantasy book and that is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. I don't know much about this book because I think that reading the synopsis of fantasy books can be very messy and unhelpful. I know the pitch of this book which is what got me interested in it and that is City of Bones by Cassie Clare meets Southern Black Magic which I'm all for and I've heard nothing but raving amazing reviews about this book and it's the first book in a series. I think that it came out around August or September so before the second comes out I have some time to read the first one and then be caught up with the series because I have a good feeling that I'm going to love it. And last but definitely not least I have How It All Blew Up by Arvin Amadi. Arvin Amadi publishes so many interesting books that I still haven't read. 
shame on me i'm very ashamed of myself thank you very much but this one in particular captured me because it's about a gay guy who comes out to his muslim family it doesn't go very well and he ends up in an interrogation room at the airport and then i think he flees to italy or something like that and he arrives in rome and it just goes from there and first of all lgbt content which is always always a plus for me second of all it's set in italy and i love 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 reading books that are set in italy and they are written by authors that are not italian so we can kind of see what transpires of my culture how they see my culture and how they were presented in their books it's just something that interests me and fascinates me so i'm really really looking forward to reading this book hopefully very soon this is it for this video thank you so much for watching it please let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books if you would recommend them and also let me know if there were some 2020 new releases that you wanted to read but unfortunately couldn't get to them this year please like subscribe share anything will be very much appreciated by me and i'll see you tomorrow with another vlogmas video that is going to be my surprises and disappointments reads of 2020 I'll see you tomorrow with another bookmas video and until then, warm hugs!